Okay, welcome back to Binary Adventure. We were looking at address sanitizer last time. Um, and this time, what I've done is I've just went ahead and fixed the program. So uh, the original program that we had, the problem was is that there was a one byte write. So I'm just go ahead and do that. I'll put it back to the way it was. And um, actually I'm gonna put in here to print out mem again. So, you know, again, when we ran this program before, it appears to work just fine. Outputs everything, except when I run it with address sanitizer, we see that we have, uh, you know, to be brief about it, it says write of size 20, but we know that our buffer here is only size 19. So we wrote one byte into the red zone. So we're gonna move on now, and I'm gonna fix this by just changing that 20 again. And now we're on the program again, and look, address sanitizer has no output, so we're all good, no more memory corruption in the program, okay? So um, what I'm gonna do now is let's actually take a look at what else we can do. So let's see, we see address sanitizer's output, and it's, you know, we, we get the general idea of what might be going on, but it's not super clear, you know, exactly what's going on. In fact, let me actually, let me actually switch that back one more time to show you what I mean by that. But sometimes it's not super clear because this is a small program, but imagine if the program is also much bigger. Even still, with, the, with a small program like this, um, it may not be immediately apparent uh, what is going on. So in fact, I'm gonna actually reintroduce the other error that I wanted to make here. Um, so I'm gonna take, I took mem out. So basically we're gonna create a segmentation fault, which is another bug. So I fixed the uh, the string copy uh, out of bounds right bug there. And um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run this program. It's gonna crash again. And this time we have a bigger stack trace here. And so the point I want to show you is that usually you want to start at the most recent call. So the, the this is the call that happened last before the program crashed. But I mean, this is the, the address sanitizer library. So it's our, uh, our incorrect code is not in here. So, and then next it says vprintf, which is uh, in the address sanitizer library as well. And then it says interceptor printf. So it can be a little bit unclear sometimes. Now in this program, again, it's small. If we had a big program where there's like 25 function calls in a row or something, and this is way longer, it may start to be hard to actually locate where the bug is. Um, and so that's where these you know other programs come in like uh, GDB. And so uh, one way to do this on on Linux at least is you know you should you should go look up how to get uh, a core dump, how to create a core dump on your Linux because it's different for different versions of Linux and different distros. So uh, it, you really should just kind of uh, go search online and, and and see how to do that on yours. But what you can do is um, I'm going to turn address sanitizer off right now. Um, and this is going to be a segmentation fault. So the program is no longer going to actually behave properly. It's, it's actually going to crash. So now what we can do is I have core dumps on. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my terminal. And what I'm going to do is type core dump CTL GDB. And what that's going to do is open up GDB on the last program that crashed uh, with a, a signal like that. And um, what a core dump is, is it's essentially as if you were walking through the program in GDB and it has all the history of, uh, or the state of the program when it crashed. And so what we can do here now, and, and just don't mind my fancy looking GDB, this is pwn debug or, um, and it, we're not really using any of these features for the most part in our exercises. So you can use these commands in regular plain old GDB. So um, first thing you're going to want to do is type BT for the backtrace, which is going to be similar to what we saw in address sanitizer. So you can see here that um, we have uh, Sterlang SSE2. And then so Sterlang was called, we have the VF printf, printf, 
main. So again, when this is really, really big, it might be hard to tell um, where the actual problem, because the, the problem's in main, right? We, we, you know, the problem is not in printf, but the, uh, the tools don't know this and they have to show you the entire backtrace for debugging purposes. So it's, you know, in case there was a problem in there, um, but the thing is, is that it can be confusing because it could look like the problems in a function that it's not in. So um, what we can do here to make things easier for ourselves is um, we could type frame and then the number. So um, I'm going to type frame three for main because I think that the problem is probably in main. And then, uh, you know, we could hit list to list out the source code of main. Um, and actually, we could see that from just eyeing this up right here, that there's a problem. We don't have uh, the variable that we wanted to print in here. We left it out. But um, the other thing you could do is you could also type info locals, and it's going to give you uh, the values on local variables. Um, you, can, you can also do info frame, and it's going to tell you where... Um, frame was located kind of like how address sanitizer did um, and in GDB in general you can type info registers you want to see like what's in the registers and things like that so but that will help you locate and pinpoint where the issue was in the program and then you could always in GDB you could you could just run the program in GDB itself and place breakpoints and step through there but um, a lot of times just doing this like it's almost like a forensics examination will help you locate where the bug was, you know, by tracing up the call stack and also by using um, address sanitizer. So I think that'll be it for this video. I just wanted to kind of tie those two things together that you can do that in Linux to get more information uh, with these tools, GDB, uh, I use Pwn Debug plugin, and then address sanitizer. And uh, in the next video, we'll look at some more uh, a different type of a bug in address sanitizer and how address sanitizer shows it differently. Um, we'll do a heat bug there. All right, thanks for watching.